Okay, folks, here we are. AnyConnect and uh, Meraki doing per app VPN. So ASA will terminate and um, um, Meraki MDM is doing the application control. So uh, first thing, let's do the wizard. Easy peasy, right? Get in, uh, give uh, the connection profile a name. We'll assign the proper interface, right? So it's VPN. We're just doing SSL. We'll go next, and then here we're going to grab Active Directory. Okay, and you can create that right from here if you have to. I've done that in previous videos. Um, here we're going to create uh, the IP addressing pool that we're going to get when we connect. Again, you can create that, and that's in other videos as well. It's pretty easy to do. Um, uh, here's some DNS information, next, 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 and that's it, right? And it creates the group policy for us. Um, so we've got a nice little container to start with. You'll hit apply at this point, or at least I'd like to do that. Um, and then um, you move on, right, to the next step. So let's just look at that group policy real quick. And I'm going to show you that at this point, if you look at the advanced attributes at the bottom here, uh, or custom attributes, I should say, uh, you see there's nothing there. So, so let's build this out. So right now, this is a critical portion of the config. Per app, you have to do it with the, 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 the exact same um, as what I have here, right? So no uppercase, lowercase, no spaces. It's got to be per app exactly as, as shown. The description doesn't matter. And now we got to build out the custom attribute. And this is actually going to get um, the application signature from or app selector from uh, Cisco. So you can go in. You can download this, uh, launch it. Um, in our case, we're going to use all applications for iOS, and we're going to use the MDM, Meraki, to actually do the control. So we'll give it a name here, and then it's star dot star for all apps. Um, and then we're going to get, we're going to view this profile, and we're going to get a string. We're going to copy that string, and we're going to add it uh, as a custom attribute. All right, so there's the type, and then we're going to put this, uh, we'll just give this a name, and if I can spell, here we go, and we'll copy that in, say okay, well okay, again hit apply if you want to at this point. Um, so now we've got this attribute, that's good. Um, what we'll do now is we will go to the group policy and go back to that um, custom attribute and make sure it's assigned. There it is, say okay, okay. I'm actually gonna go and create a, a DAP policy as well. Um, and it's gonna be, again, order matters here. Um, it's going to be zero, so there's two zeros, um, so they're both going to actually apply, um, but it doesn't matter. It's just, uh, in my case, I just want to showcase that the per app portion works. Um, so I'm, I'm actually going to look for uh, iOS, everything over uh, equal or greater than 931. So that's good. Uh, I'll grab that custom attribute here, and then I'm going to apply it. And again, this takes precedence over any other setting and any other uh, policy above this, like say a group policy. This, the, this policy overrides uh, any of the previous uh, controls. Okay, so that's good. We, we've got it in there. We're gonna save it out. Um, and that's it for the ASA portion, okay? So that's it, pretty easy once you know what you're doing, right? There's a couple little uh, steps there that may not be obvious. So once we get that built out, now we go to the MDM, or Meraki in our case. We build out this profile. I have my iPhone tagged as IT staff. Um, so anything that's tagged with IT staff, this profile is going to apply to it. And it's automatically going to get sent down. Um, in later vi video, I'll, I'll show you how to build out it, just an AnyConnect profile that will automatically go to your devices. So hit more iOS. We're going to do per app here. And this is uh, specific to per app. Uh, app VPN so we'll give it a name and uh, once that's done we're gonna go to server it I have uh, it, it, the way I've got it segmented in my my lab environment there's an, an external network that it happens to be 10 1 245 
Um, so 245.77 happens to be the ASA's VPN uh, interface. And uh, the only reason why it seems like I've got a little bit of a delay here, I was it took me a bit to remember the IP address, so I had to double check. As we move along here, um, the connection type is any connect. There's a couple other options there. Um, the group, the group needs to be identical to the group name or the group policy name. So we want that name uh, to be entered into um, the MDM portion if you chose uh, that, that particular group policy. So we'll just grab that one there and just modify it to be the same as the one that uh, it, that we just created. Okay, looks good. Scroll down, we're gonna pick uh, the application Safari. Um, and we're gonna uh, also add a domain vpn.com. So uh, the application Safari should be the app that uses the tunnel, okay? So we'll give this, uh, we'll, we'll add that in and then we'll very quickly uh, give this a test. Save the changes. Things are moving along. Now I just uh, working on getting the uh, my screen from my iPhone onto the computer. So once I get that up, I'll drag it over to the screen here. There we go. We'll check the uh, systems manager to make sure everything is green. Look at that, fantastic. Okay, so that should mean that we've got everything is up to date on it. If we go into AnyConnect, that we can see the profile that looks good you can see the per app now let's just go to advanced and then uh, let's check that app rules okay good that's what we want to see if there's nothing there then obviously you got some work to do um, maybe refresh but um, but anyways so that looks good let's uh, enable it untrusted cert that's fine we we know it's us there's the little pop-up page to say what accesses you might have uh, and that, in our case, it doesn't really apply because uh, that's that second dynamic access policy. So you can see vpn.com is actually a real domain. So in Google, when I do it, it, it uses the real vpn.com domain. But I have an internal uh, domain called vpn.com. So at this point, if we look at the diagnostics and we look at some of the stats, we, we don't see any traffic flowing over that VPN. And that's ex expected, right? Remember, it's per app VPN. Now you can see the VPN sign is up already and when we went to the www.vpn.com it worked now let's go to that's actually a cert server as well um, just in that lab so let's just log in here and you can still see that VPN icon at the top right at the very top there's that VPN icon so it's connected here look I've uh, I'm internal that's great now if I go back to to Google you can see that it actually disappeared if I sorry if I went back to Chrome you can see that VPN th uh, icon disappears because that does not have uh, access to the VPN. And just to test it again, you can see that VPN icon's gone. Let's look at um, stats again. And look at, you can see that there's some traffic uh, patterns there. So that's fantastic, worked as expected.